Hi team, Claire here from My Mortgage and today I want to talk a little bit about discharging properties. Now what does discharging mean? Well, if you sell a property, you will, and it has a, a mortgage attached or a mortgage over it, some home lending, um, you will discharge that property from one bank. So let's say, for example, that bank's ANZ, um, your request for that mortgage to be discharged and if you've sold it, you'll take the sale proceeds and the bank will pay back the loans um, that you've taken out to buy the property in the first place. In some situations, discharges are very, very simple, in which you might be buying another property and that might be happening on the same day, or you might be buying another property in future, or you might simply be selling a property and going, hey look, I've got some money in the bank, I want to go travelling and spend some time with my family. Absolutely great, easy. Sometimes when discharges can get a little bit more challenging is if you've got multiple properties at one bank and you want to discharge some of the lending that you have in place. So for example, you might have bought a property for $300,000, you might have borrowed $200,000 way back 10 years ago, and now that property might be worth $500,000. So in your mind, of course, it makes sense. You say, hey, I want to repay that $200,000 and I want to, to keep that capital gain that I've had um, over that period of time so I can take those sale proceeds. But if you've used the security of that property to buy other properties, so if you've used that equity as deposits to buy other properties, the bank might actually need you to repay more lending than you think. So it's really key if you're selling a property to check what the bank holds on on file or on hand what values they hold for your properties and what they would require you to repay if you did actually sell those properties. And that's an important thing to double check so that you're not getting a nasty surprise on settlement. The second time that this can become a wee bit challenging is a lot of people think that if they, if they currently owe $500,000, they want to sell a property and buy a new one, they can automatically borrow that money again. That isn't quite the case because the bank will need to assess your ability to borrow that money again. They'll need to check that the, that the boxes are still ticked, that you still meet the income requirements and that your income and expenses still fit in terms of retaining that loan. So many banks will let you essentially security swap. So take one property out, put another property in and leave that loan balance as it is. But you still have to apply and be confirmed and approved to borrow that money again. So just something to be really mindful of. Um, overall though, discharges have become something that people um, now just need to potentially watch out for being reassessed. So, hey, if you've got five properties, you sell one, can you afford the lending to keep those other four properties, including some rental income and your personal income, etc. So definitely just something to keep a bit of an eye on. If you'd like to talk to us about any of this, just jump onto mymortgage.co.nz, click on the Contact Us page, and we're happy to talk you through it, um, and also to reassess your position and how that would look heading forward as well. Hope you have a great day, and talk with you soon.